Hello, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome back. Let's go to the banking section. So in the previous video, I edited the name of this business bank account here and added a new account. Now, if you want to learn to do that, please make sure you watch that video. If you've joined the series here, please go back and start this tutorial from the beginning. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record receipts, so money into a bank account. So let's do the business current account. At the top right here, we have purchase slash payment, sale slash receipt, and then bank account. This is what we use to create a new bank account and bank transfer. That's for transferring money from one bank account to another on Sage Business Cloud Accounting. We're going to record receipt or sell money into the bank so we'll click on that and we'll be taken to a new screen we select the customer the payment is from so let's do one two three supplies paid into the business bank account you can see each of the bank accounts added onto the software is showing method let's say it was an, uh, an electronic transfer date received all this information needs to be accurate obviously for sage to then be accurate the amount received you can see there's one invoice outstanding 1547 if the invoice was just paid in full you can click the box here and you can see amount received changes to 96 if they made a part payment you can put 48 in here say and then go down to the invoice and click on it, enter 48 as the amount paid, click apply, and then 48 will be allocated to that invoice rather than the full 96. Once you're happy, click save, and that will save the payment. And you can see that the business bank account now has 48 pounds. Let's do another one, so sale receipt, Customer, Quirt Limited, any outstanding invoices appear down the bottom here. Paid into the business bank account. Ensure the right account is selected. Let's say this was a card this time and this was on the 6th. Amount received, it was the invoice in full. So let's just tick the invoice, £172.80. Click Save. And that invoice will be marked as paid. So if I go to sales invoices now that sales invoice list you can see that one invoice is paid and one is part paid because that's what we've just done on sage business cloud accounting hopefully as these videos have gone on you can really see how things work together and complement each other now what happens if we receive a receipt into the bank account but it's not from a customer let's say it's for something else so if we go to new and click sell receipt we have some other options up here, such as other receipt and supplier refund. So if we click on other receipt, we actually don't have to select a customer. It's optional. So business current account, if we received an electronic amount for bank interest of £1.25, obviously that's not from a customer. Let's just go to the sales codes here, which are 4000 we have, or we should have, uh, maybe there isn't one set up. We can put it down as other income. Sometimes there's like a bank interest received. We'll keep that as 4,900 other income. In here we can put bank interest. You need to sort out the VAT situation. There's no VAT on bank interest. So £1.25 received, it's an other receipt. We've chosen this option because it's not from a customer that we have a credit invoice for on the system. If we receive money, that's to clear an invoice, it's customer receipt. If we receive money into the bank, that's not for a credit invoice, it's simply other receipt. So click save and that will be saved onto the system now if we if we receive a um a refund from a supplier there was an option for that as well so sell receipt 
then we have supplier refund we choose the supplier and the amount refunded against which invoice hopefully that makes sense please re-watch this video it's quite a lot to take in but all we're doing is recording money into bank accounts by going to new clicking sell and receipt and filling in the relevant information so there was um, some money outstanding for one two three supplies it even says here like this customer has 48 pound outstanding paid into the business bank account let's say it was a check this time for the remaining balance which is 48 click save that's now on the system now what's happening as we, we record these payments and also our raising invoices it's all been allocated to customer accounts so if we go to the customer list now and click on one two three supplies you'll see down the bottom here we have everything that's going on with their account um, so we have the sales invoice and the customer receipts with the invoice 98 pound and the 48 pound payments to their account and also if I go to sales invoices now both of those invoices are marked as paid hopefully this makes sense the last video in this tutorial we're finally coming to an end yay you don't have to listen to my voice anymore the last video in this course will do the opposite to what we were just doing which is recording payments from a bank account so we've just gone through recording receipts into a bank account we'll now look at um, in the next video we'll now look at recording payments out of a bank account